awesome new feature on your iOS device that allows you to remotely control other Apple gadgets nearby. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you a cool new feature where you can remotely control your iOS device from your iPhone. It can be iPhone to iPhone or iPhone to iPad, but one at a time. This is not yet an analog of TeamViewer, but the next step in bringing gadgets together and expanding the capabilities of Apple ecosystem. This new feature allows you to remotely launch some of the features of your other iOS devices. Remote control of gadgets from iPad will not work, but you can easily control it from your iPhone. To activate this feature, go to Settings, Accessibilities, tap on Control Near Devices, and choose your device from the list. This option will work on all iOS devices with the same Wi-Fi and most importantly, must be managed by the same Apple ID. So what all you can do with other gadgets remotely? At this moment, after connecting to one of your gadgets, a menu of six actions is available. You can go to the home screen. You can launch multitasking panels. You can open control center. You can easily check your notifications. You can remotely start Siri. Open music. Invoking Siri lets you set an action on nearby gadget, meaning the ability to remotely navigate to home screen. If you're sitting near to the gadget, you can also give commands like open YouTube, open YouTube, open music application, open music, or call someone, call wife. You can also play and pause media playing on your device you can forward it to the next video or go back. You can also control volume up and down buttons. Smoother video, enhanced stabilization, and a way more intelligent camera. But that's up against the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So all this can be done remotely from your iPhone and it works fluently. If you're wondering why this feature doesn't show on your iPhone in settings, it's because it's an iOS 16 feature and soon it will be available for all the iOS devices with iOS 16 officially launching in September this year. So that's it guys for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. More iOS 16 features coming soon on my channel. So stay tuned. See you all soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings.